Hello everybody, this is BioTF Anime, and welcome to a quick video overview of the new Steam Mobile app beta. So it's actually been out for a while now in beta, but the slots on iOS test flight were quite limited. I think it was only to, for 10,000 people, and it got filled up really uh, fast. Uh, I think now it's close to official release, so they've increased the amount of test flight slots available for us on iOS who are interested. Of course, if you're on Android, you might have already had the chance to download it. Um, you can just go to the App Store and look for the beta, I think, or the special link in this page for Android right here. Um, but for us iOS plebs, we can go to the test flight link provided here, or you can just search it on Google. So we'll search Steam Mobile Beta App. Uh, the second link is right, testflight.apple. Uh, you will need the test flight app installed. Once you're there, you can just click accept and it'll tell you what you are testing and you can start using the Steam Beta Mobile app. So let's go into the app and have a look. It looks a lot better than the original app. So here is the main home screen, which is actually the store screen. Uh, you can see there's a menu um your store new worthy points so everything you see on mobile steam pretty much uh, you can go to your wish list there we go that's pretty nice uh, you can go to your wallet i have enough no money uh the arrow on the uh, in the corner is actually a back button so it will just take you back 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 until you go into the um, back where you started and uh, i guess this site is just really the mobile site so it looks pretty nice. Um, there is, you saw that action where you can swipe over from the most right to each side and you can swipe back as well. Um, so there are those um, app navigation. Uh, but yeah, the store site looks very responsive. It's very quick. So you can easily go there. You can click on your profile to show up, uh, to show up your settings. Um, that's also the hamburger menu on the bottom right. It's actually, no, it's slightly different. That is actually your profile page. Uh, I'm mistaken. All right, so, but that's the store page pretty much. And that's the home screen where you would go to when you first launched the app pretty much. Uh, next is your news section. Uh, then it'll show your news. So all the games that you uh, looked at or I guess Steam deems that you're interested in. Uh, stuff you own and stuff. So there's... So there's that. Uh, let's see if the swipe works here. No, the swipe from the side is not working. So I'll click upcoming. Uh, there's the upcoming screen. I don't really look at this very often, so I don't really know. Uh, this bar is scrollable. Uh, Steam official. There we go. So you can see all the news coming from Steam from Valve. Uh, what else? Oh, this is a little buggy. I can't scroll the way past Steam no, official when I was on Steam official. Okay, now I can. News curated. Uh, here you can see all the uh, different news stories that they think you like as well. So that's pretty cool. If we go to settings, if you have any filters, I guess you'll see them here. I have not because I don't really look at the news section. Um, but yeah, uh, I think this part looks very nice too. Uh, you can see other languages and such. So that's cool. Now, um, most people have a Steam app for Steam authentication. So that's pretty cool. You can see here, there is a option to scan QR code. So it's kind of like Discord or a lot of other apps, WhatsApp, where you can sign in using a, v a QR code. So I'm gonna try right here on a browser. So if I click on scan code, you can see it's popped onto my camera. And if we go to here, you can see I'm in Firefox and say, I wanna log into this. I'm in the beta, show me the code, show the code. Uh, there we go. It actually even shows you the location, so I'm blurring all that out. Sign in the Steam, press that, and it's worked. I can't show you that because I'm not recording my screen, <laughs> but I can tell you it worked. Uh, you can also show the Steam Guard code, of course, if uh, 
I guess the client has been, hasn't been updated yet unless you're in the beta Steam client. But if you do that, um, press show Steam code, you can see the code actually. I'll post the screenshot of someone else showing it. Um, settings, you can see you can remove authenticator, recovery code, Steam support, authorized devices as well. So that's pretty good. So that's really the main part of using the uh, Steam Guard uh, of the app, for me at least. Notifications, you can see I've received balancing. Great. What does that mean? Something about my inventory. Okay, great. Um, so notifications come in here. I'm not sure about chat notifications. I would, well, actually, no, they wouldn't because, da -da -da -da, let's go back here, here to this menu here. You can see store, news. So all, pretty much all the horizontal navigation is back here in the vertical form. You can check your uh, Steam library from here, which is really cool. So if you can, if you remember, if you want to look for a game that you own, you can check here. Um, community. So all the community tab on the Steam app, marketplace, that kind of thing. I guess it's just called market now. So you can launch into that. There you go. That's so. That's really nice and it's formatted well. Uh, I can't scroll slide back from here. I guess I just have to click the hamburger menu again. Yep. So a little inconsistency there. Um, but the big thing is chat is missing from here. So I said I only use this for Steam Guard because for me, I usually chat on Discord. Um, but I know it's a big complaint in the Steam community, the subreddits and the forums and the Steam community forums, they really show. Because right now, if you click on Steam Chat, it launches the App Store because I don't have Steam Chat. And you can see it's it's got a pretty crappy rating. So yeah, Valve, if you can, please combine these apps because it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks that the old app, that the old app, even though it looked it looked like crap, it, but it had chat within it. So now that they've broken out into another chat, uh, into another app, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. So let's go back to the Steam app there. So maybe for give feedback about this app, I'll say add chat. Um, what else is there? Settings. So there you can see home screen. Ah, you can change your home screen. So maybe if you think uh, Steam Guard is the only thing you'll need, you can check, make that the, the home page, the home screen when you launch it. Friend activity. I think I'll keep it at store because I like it in the front. Um, so overall, it's a very, very simple looking app. Uh, let's go to, I'll show you profile really quickly. Everything is formatted very nicely on mobile. So we have that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really big improvement on the original app because that app looks like it's from, um, I guess it is from 2010. I don't know officially, but this looks more modern. It's missing the chat app. So valve, please add that. But overall logging in steam guard, that stuff looks great. And I really like it. Uh, hopefully it's releasing soon to the public and that, so you don't need test flight for iOS users at least. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this quick video. I hope you enjoyed it and um, see you in the next one. Bye.